feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions Feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions You feel like You feel like You feel like You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions Look at Miss Wonder Woman How you doing beautiful? Betty Boop, how you doing sugar? Carla, how you doing love? Yeah, baby.
How you doing, Miss Carla? Good to see you, honey. How y'all lovely people doing on today? Betty Boop, say hey, beautiful love, beautiful people. Welcome, Betty Boop. How you doing? Carla speaking to Betty Boop and Wonder Woman. Betty Boop speaking to Wonder Woman and Miss Carla. Betty Boop said, Carla, how are you? Betty Boop, lots been going on, but I'm managing. How have you been there? Carla said, how your hubby doing, Wonder Woman? Yes, I forgot about Wonder Woman husband was sick. Now, I came on today, y'all, because I want to talk about a part two, okay? Now, for those of y'all who want to hear this rant, that's fine with me and I understand. But I got I to gotta let this out, okay? Because this person had messed with my social media. She tapped into it. She was um actually... um. Doing things with my Facebook, hacking into my banks. When I say this girl done did so much, she did so much. So that's why I'm airing her out on the internet, Miss Mosley. That's her last name, Miss Mosley, okay? Now, Miss Mosley, first and foremost, you need to find a career. Get something that you like to do, okay? And the reason why I'm coming on here, y'all, because I don't like to see people bullied, okay? Or taken advantage of, okay? When I see things in the spirit, um, to where people um, try to blackmail just to get somebody money, especially if they got kids to take care of, okay? I don't care if it's a woman or a man. It doesn't matter. That could be one of y'all. That could have been me. This girl done went on social media, which I haven't seen it yet, and she was making up a bunch of lies on me. I was told this, right? I haven't seen it yet. Um, She had blocked my... Um, YouTube channel for being out there where people can recognize my channel. Okay. Now it's not so much that I'm taking sides with anybody. Okay. But the whole matter what I don't like is for her to sit and want to blackmail somebody when she got things in her life that she don't want nobody to know about. Okay. You don't want nobody to know the truth about your life. Ain't nobody afraid of being blackmailed. When you want to sit and blackmail somebody, Make sure you better be aware of them coming on here talking about your personal business that you don't want the world to know about, okay? Because I'm one, baby. I'm, I'm the type of person. I don't care what I've been through in life, y'all. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of my past life. I'm not afraid um, of things that I have um, done probably. I'm not afraid of people who are going to blackmail. You get what I'm saying? That stuff doesn't bother me. But you do have some people who really care about their reputation. When you show people a signs of weakness, that's when they're going to take advantage of you and start doing all kind of reckless things because they know that's your weakness. But if you stand in your truth and say, you know what? I'm not paying you anything. Go talk, go run it up. Because people already know she ain't, she ain't nothing but a liar. People already done notice about this girl. You don't have no credit anywhere but anything concerning people, not even in your own area. Okay? Michelle, how you doing, Michelle? Say, hey, beautiful love and chat. Welcome. Michelle speaking to Miss Carla and Betty Boop and Wonder Woman. Um, Betty Boop said, bless you, Carla. I'm managing um, as well. I'm glad to hear that, Betty Boop. Carla speaking to I am Michelle, Betty Boop speaking to you also. So that's the reason why, y'all, we got to start speaking out, okay? I don't care if you're not on the internet, you in your own personal hometown. I don't care if you're in a friend group. Start speaking out on people who always want to sit to do evil to others when they got skeletons in their closet. I don't like it. In the minute you choose that you want to blackmail somebody, I don't care if I'm not attached to them at all because you did some horrible things, especially when you try to tap into my spirit when I'm sleeping. I'm going to expose you and what's going on in your life, okay, that you don't want nobody to know, okay? So you always got to be remembered that when you try to pit others out there, there's somebody else always waiting to pit you out there too, okay? Stop acting like you the head honcho of somebody. You have rectified a lot of people's lives. You did a lot of evil things to people. 
You should be ashamed of yourself. Very ashamed of yourself. For tearing up people homes. You sit and you tear up a lot of these people homes out here. You did a lot of things that you try to cover up just because you think you popular. But you a prostitute. Okay. You's an embedded Jezebel prostitute. And I'm going to speak boldly about it. When you try to put a hit out on me, then I say, you know what? Me and you got a problem. Me and you got a problem. Anybody who know me, y'all, and this is for real, for real, who know me, know me, especially in my hometown, didn't know I don't bother nobody. Okay. I like to give back to the community. I like to be involved with my community, things like that. But when you got people like this, this skeleton right here, who want to hurt people all the time and do wicked things to people, that's why I got a problem on. And she do wicked, okay? She do magic. She do all kind of wicked things out here. People need to start exposing people like this. Then you're going to sit and get mad when you sit and, and, and y'all try to attack me and going to turn around and get mad at me. That's weird. I was minding my business, just doing my own little thing. I don't even know. I don't even know the other people, but I know. Huh. But my thing is, I was minding my business, not bothering nobody. Y'all know how I get when when somebody just sit and just do things out the blue for nothing, just for popularity. I heard this girl was going to Internet, y'all. I'm, I'm not for sure, but this is why I heard for somebody who is very credited. Right. This a girl, she was going to the internet talking smack about you. Now, the whole time I'm on Facebook, you know, being encouraging the people, however the kids may go, I didn't even have a clue that was going on because like I said, I wasn't focusing. You know, I'm trying to block, block things in my mind to where I'm trying to focus on being positive, doing the right thing, however the case may go. But these people who are bullies, they need to be exposed. They need to be exposed. Y'all always do what God tell y'all to do. Don't ever be afraid of nothing. These people right here, they think they God. She thinks she God. And this is what she done. And I'm a woman with kids. She is a female with kids. And when I say this girl is very heartless, very heartless, okay? Have people following me, stalking me. Lying, causing all kind of chaos. But if I was to do the same thing she did to me, she probably couldn't even take it. That's why you got to be mindful how you choose to do things to people. Because you just never know who hands you putting your hands on. And I'm talking about an imp. A whole imp. Low self-esteem. Trying to work magic on me every single day. Then on top of that, I'm at the grocery store. I'm at the grocery store. Her mom's pull up. Okay. Looking at me sitting inside the car. Now I'm talking about somebody who went to my school, y'all. I didn't really interact with her like that because I always been a person who liked to be to myself, right? Or people my spirit can gravitate to. So when I saw the lady sitting in her car, first, let me rewind this. She used to come get her hair done by me, right? But when I moved my shop at that time years ago to my house, because my house had a piece added to where it was a shop. Add it to the house. So she used to come to my house and get her hair did, right? So I'll give y'all an insight who this woman is. She used to come to my house and get her hair done, but I noticed that she was trying to cling to me, right? Now, remind y'all, the person I am, I don't just brush people off. I don't never act like I'm better than nobody. I give anybody the time of the day, right? But all that have changed. I give anybody the time of the day. I will take my shirt off my back and give it to you if you want it. Now, the whole time 
I had things going on in my life. Never for once. I asked God, the most high God, where it was coming from. I never questioned God where it was coming from. I just keep praying every day. But one day I prayed and asked God, I need you to show me where all it's coming from. And when he revealed it was her, I said, I had this, this girl at my place of business at the time. What? I never had no problem with her. Why would she want to do stuff like that to me? Out of jealousy. Sometimes when you got women on the outside looking in, they only assume things because you got it, right? Some of y'all women pick up what I'm trying to say. Sometimes they assume things, right? She got a nice house. She got a nice car. I want what she got, right? Not understanding when you're a woman with kids, you're a hard worker. You're going to do what you can to make sure your kids have, or you're going to make sure you have in your home, whatever the, the necessary things you need, you're going to make sure you got that. But she was so low thinking, she thought her betraying me would affect me. It didn't do did anything to me. That's something she didn't even understand. See, the whole time while she was out there doing evil, I was working on myself, praying, meditating to God, you know, doing I can, you know, being positive, things like that, you know. But the enemy would do things to dumb down your spirit where it can work on you, okay? I don't know who this for, and I need to tell y'all this right quick. Always stay happy, do the right thing by others, because you got to protect yourself from people like her, huh, okay? I never would have thought in a million years this imp would have deceived me, okay? And I got all reasons to feel the way I'm feeling right now, okay? But when you want to, when she want to sit back and blackmail people for money after she don't find out their secrets or however the case may go, now if you don't give me what I need. I'm going to blackmail you and I'm going to let the whole world know on the internet. When y'all deal with people like that, whatever you know, put it on the internet. Okay? Put it out there on the internet, what they're doing to people. That's how you do that. Because you got to show people like her, like her, you don't care. You got to show people like her, I can get dirty as you can. That's what you got to do with people like her. And it's sad. It's, it just breaks my heart, y'all, to see people go through this type of stuff. It does. Dirty and illy. Rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. You better say it, Sam. Um, I am Michelle for life. Say, get your stuff off, um, beautiful love. They need to leave people alone. Exactly, Michelle. Exactly. Girl, yeah, she been... Michelle, let me tell you something. One thing about God, God not going to let nobody come near his people. Okay? He ain't going to let nobody come near his people. That's something she don't realize. Because like I said, she was born into darkness. You know what darkness means? People who was born into wickedness. Instead of she give herself to God, pray to God. You get what I'm saying? She prefer to dab in evil and tamper with me when I'm sleeping. People don't realize when I sleep, when I'm in my sleep, I know I'm dreaming, right? I can see faces in my dream who is tampering with me. And this is what she done. Tampering with me on a low low. Wondering why my money been slowing up, why this happening, this happening, that happening. But never for once I prayed to God about it and said, Lord, show me. I ain't never did that until I did it. And that's when God revealed her. And she was doing this for a while. But let me tell you all the goodness about God, though. When you got people who do such things like this, God got, a, God got reasons to do what he keep doing, too. See how that works? See, when somebody thinking they're trying to mess you up in one way, that's when God keep hands on them. That's when he keep hands on them and they're not going to release it. This girl ain't nothing but a liar. She's a manipulator. And I'm not making this up, okay? Other people know this too. Not just by me speaking it. 
they know for themselves too. She manipulate people. She ain't nothing but a liar. A Jezebel, and she loved money. That's the city of Jezebel too, okay? She loved money. She do anything for money. And you want to come against a person like me who don't, who ain't even got, who ain't even stunting you. She need to get off the internet. Oh my God. I'm just tired of her being on the internet. Son, it all kind of beauty magic to me, all kind of stuff like that. Y'all. This is what she done. Trying to affect my kids life trying to kill my daughter in a car accident she did that and that's why i don't have no respect for her because my family don't bother nobody we mind our business but when you try to do that to my daughter that's when i know i see you we got bad blood baby okay and i'm a i'm a God, God gonna keep dealing with you and dealing with you and dealing with you and dealing with you and dealing with you because your head is hard. You selfish. You got a hard head. You lie a lot. Pay your own bills. Ain't you got money set aside? Prostitute, pay your own bills. I hate women like this, y'all. They go around just rectifying people's lives for nothing, innocent people. But I ain't never seen nothing as wicked as you. Every day, this girl was messing with witchcraft when she get up during the daytime and at night if she choose to. I'm telling y'all what I know. Oh, dirty devil. But she's trying to save her image, y'all. She don't want nobody to um, call her out because she want to save her image. After all, she be doing to other people. You better correct what you done. And I'm dead serious. Wonder Woman said, hey, Betty Boop, call her Michelle for life. Betty Boop said, I just can't understand. If you don't like a person, why worry about what they doing? Just move around. Exactly. And this is the thing, Betty Boo. I was looking out for her. Okay. She just started getting her feelings about things. If I'm friends with somebody, I'm a very honest person. I'm going to go to them. Look, can you show me how to do X, Y, Z? Or I'm going to ask some type of question. Even if I'm not in the place I need to be, I'm still going to ask questions that going to help me, right? I'm not going to sit and turn on them. Let me go do this to them because I'm, I, oh, it just irritates me. Every time I see, she she just never out of place. It just irritates me. You know what irritates me when I look at evil people like you? That's what irritates me. So don't ever take my niceness for weakness, baby. Because I got a side you never seen before. A lot of these people can't speak up for themselves because she put witchcraft on them to keep their minds um, boggled to a point to where they can't really move the way they want to move. This is what I'm telling y'all is true. This demon. Dabbing in witchcraft on people to get her way. But when you start soaring on my side, baby, that's when I had a problem. And it's not only me like I told y'all. It's other women out here. She compete with other women. Her competing is pitting witchcraft on them. I want them to lose this. I want their money to slow. I want them to lose work. This is what she do. To get her weight. She do this type stuff to people. That's why I don't have no remorse for people who is like this, y'all. These stuff need to be talked about.
I'm trying to save my image. Can you go over there and unalive her? Just go over there and unalive her because I'm trying to save my image. When I was minding my business the whole time. Them people ain't trying to hear you, girl. You is a demon. You sat and work on the people you've been around. So why you think they want to do a bed for you? If anything, they need to take your money, if anything, and run. If I've been up, take the money and run. Don't do she can't do nothing to y'all. People can only do what you allow them to do. Take the money and run. Hell, use them. Stop allowing people like that to have headway over y'all because she do X, Y, Z. That don't mean nothing. She wicked. Because when I see what she have done on the sneak sneak, right? Before all this came about, she was working on the people she been around. And I started getting mad in my spirit, even though I didn't like that, neither what these others been doing. But I say it's more so her, right? She don't want to give up. She keep going, 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 right? So when I saw that, I'm like, wow. Why would you bite the hand that feeds you? Why would you do that? You know, everybody got something about themselves who not right, right? But the reason why I'm on her, if you're around somebody calling, they're treating you good, right? And I'm not going to even call these people out, right? Because I don't even know them. I'm speaking on her. But if you're around some people, right? And they're looking out for you, for your best interests. You having a good time, however the case may go. And one day you decided, since you do magic, I'm going to work on them on the sneak tip and laugh about it. <laughs> and go around them, you know, every now, you know, when, when she's around them, she want to see how the stuff working, right? This what she been doing. And think it's funny. <laughs> man child 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 mm. don't you ever bring no apology to me ever never I don't want it okay so you could sit there plot scheme whatever whatever but it ain't gonna look good that's all I'm gonna tell you okay you did a lot of wrong things behind people back. A lot. A lot. Even people who least cared a little bit, you still crap over them too. That's what you done. I said this joker, this, 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 this joker, I'm gonna say joke, she a man, but she really a woman. No, she really a woman, but a man, okay? I said, this joker right here is heartless, okay? Heartless. Heartless. So I was at the grocery store. I'm like, minding my business. You know, I don't bother nobody. She tend to lie so much. He ain't no telling what she done told her mother, right? This the type of, she just lies a lot about anything. That's why I come on and tell y'all all the time. I don't care who it is. Do your homework first. Don't sit and just believe anything somebody tell you. Because nine out of ten, either it's over jealousy, being spiteful, just want to be malicious, or thinking they got power. Okay? People like her who do this type of stuff. Do your homework. Don't just jump the gun. Because I know to do my homework when she run her mouth. I know better. I listen. But I do my homework. Wonder Woman said, hello, Betty Boot. Call her Michelle for life. Like it for a while. Okay, I read that. When Betty Boot said, wow, call her. So she been messing with your Facebook page. People was trying to check on you and couldn't get through. Wow. Yes, Carla. Yes. Yes. She was tampering with my Facebook too. Still is. And let, 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 me, let me tell you what this prostitute did too, y'all, because I'm going to let y'all know everything she did, okay? And that's why I didn't really want to come on the internet because I was trying to take care of other stuff, personal things. But she also 
had my computer hacked into where she was looking at me and others, okay, inside of my home. So if I'm naked, taking a shower and everything, they was watching it, okay? That's how nosy she is. She just nosy. And I don't know why the life of me, she want my medical. I'm not you, okay? So don't sit and compare me to you. You good, because don't people you around, if I've been there, baby, listen here. <laughs> they good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, baby. Because see, she ain't going to stop. I'm letting y'all know right now, this girl is not going to stop. She not going to stop. Okay. She hold vengeance in her heart. And when you're dealing with people who are very demonic, who hold vengeance in their heart, they don't believe the stop with nothing. Okay. They want results. They're going to keep going. She's going to keep going with y'all and going and going. Cause she do have somebody jacked up right now, all in the head of, but something she did that. Okay. Um, Ooh, Lord child call a girl. That's why I tell y'all when I be telling y'all things, I'm telling y'all from experience. Okay. Do what's right. Keep your faith. All that right there. Okay. Cursing not going to dumb you down where you're going to lose protection. Okay. So don't ever think that would going to make you lose your protection with God is not. Okay. Um, only thing how you can lose your protection from God if you hand it over or if you choose to convert over and hurt people with witchcraft and different things like how she do. Now, see, if I was wicked and I dabble in that and if I choose to go to somebody and do what she did to me, it would have it would have messed up bad, real bad. OK, that's why I'm saying people who do wicked things, they need to do their homework and understand is rules to everything. I keep saying this is rules to everything. Not one thing is exempt. When you make a pair of shoes, it's rules how you make that is instructions, right? Some people may call it rules. Is instructions how you got to make them shoes. Same thing with witchcraft. It's rules to it. You just can't think you know a magic or um something you know a long time ago. I'm going to just do this and, and do this right here. And no, nah, you got to do your homework. You got to do your assessment. You got to sit and examine things. Because when you come against God divines people, now you, you stepping off on a whole new different territory. That doesn't belong to you. Okay. So yeah. She been the one messing with my Facebook. So hold y'all faith. Don't ever be afraid. Cause when you see people be like, oh, I don't want to hear but that type of stuff because they're dabbing in it. Okay. Let me let me explain something to y'all. Okay. Knowledge is a powerful thing, right? But when you see people that do doesn't like to hear the word witchcraft. Nine out of 10, the reason why, because they mess with witchcraft. And when they hear the word witchcraft, what can happen to people who dab in it? Possibility, right? All depends on what it is. What they're doing can backfire on them, even though you're not talking about them. It can still backfire what they're trying to do to somebody else. So they are back up fast. Like, oh, let me get off this live because I don't want to hear this right here. Because they dab in it to other entities that's not of God. And they know it's rules. So possibility by hearing it, what they have already done can backfire back on them what they did to somebody else. Okay. You could kind of pinpoint people, how they move to have a conversation. You can tell. Um, Carla said, for no reason, that person just don't um, like you. That's crazy. Yes, Carla. Been been in my house and everything, child. Okay. But I know, but this is the thing, Carla. I know what kind of spirit she had. I still allow her to come over. You get what I'm saying? I know what kind of spirit she had. I always do things on God's time. And when God tell me to cut somebody off, I do just that. I don't play around with that. Separate yourself. I do just that. I separate myself. 
That's how I move. And when God told me to separate myself, that's what I did. Quick, fast, in a hurry. I hesitate. No thought about it. <laughs> Trust and believe me. Now, when you look back on things years later, I see why. She probably felt like this. You know, she was feeling like this the whole time. Take me off the internet. This girl do anything for money, y'all. She will lie, make up all kind of lies, trying to perpetrate. <sighs> whatever you, whatever y'all bring up in y'all mind right now, she have done it. Okay, she have done it. That's all I'm gonna say about that right there. But how y'all day going so far? I hope y'all having a good day. Because God is going to whip that tail. God is going to whip her tail, I promise you. Okay? And he ain't going to let up till he ready to let up. That's one thing about our father, y'all. He don't play. And he's a bad man, jamma. So when you think somebody like her got power, she don't have no power over God. I promise you, she don't. Mm -mm. It's impossible. It's impossible. Now you were saying that you're trying to get research. Okay. God showed me she was trying to get research on me. Who am I? How could she find a way to attack me when I don't bother nobody? It's rules, baby. You can't bother people who not bothering people. It's rules. But you better be mindful because you're going to come across somebody. You're going to do that same thing too. And they're going to be fully loaded on like doing what you're doing. Okay. And what's going to happen, it's going to rock your world. And that right there should be enough to sit your butt on down. Son and death spells to me. Y'all, when I say this girl did the most, don't try to tie me up to all kinds of stuff, voodoo dolls and all kinds of stuff, y'all. Yeah. This is what she done. This is what she done. And you know why I love her, but my father, when I do it off, when I do it off and I go into my, my dreams, I don't be all the way in my dream, like sleep. I don't be all the way sleep, right? But I'm dreaming. So if I can't figure out one way, God going to give me something else to figure it out on. And he always show me the faces in my dream. Well, I call it visions. In my visions, he's going to show me faces that let me know who my enemy is. So when I saw this heifer, took it upon herself, she just don't want to give up. No matter what she's going through, she still ain't going to give up. God could be dealing with her right now. She still don't want to give up. Warning always come before destruction. It's sad. Like it's literally sad. When I used to go live, she was doing her little thing then. Then she ended up biting her own hand. Demon. <laughs> Michelle said, call up people that don't like you for no reason or jealous people, in my opinion. Exactly, Michelle. Exactly. See, when, when I made them videos, which I need to take them down of Miss Miss Leela, I need to take them videos down. I wasn't coming from a place of hating her. You know, I was teaching her a lesson. Stop coming on people's page and telling me I want to be like you. You get what I'm saying? That's why I did what I did, you know, to let people know. You don't swerve and bother people. When you see people in their own lane, leave them well enough alone. But I never hated her. She's a difference. I never had one inch of head in my heart towards her. But this demon I'm talking about right here. Michelle, that's a whole flesh demon. You hear me? A whole flesh demon. And any woman who is around Miss Mosley, you better break yourself free, okay? Because when you're dealing with people who get upset and re ready to run the witchcraft, they'll do anything to you, especially if you weaken the spirit. That's why you got to stay prayed up to keep your spirit up, to stay in the spiritual realm.
trying to get somebody to take me out. Working on somebody to take me out. But she still want to be here. Weird, right? People like that, I can't seem to understand. Why are you walking amongst us if you don't like the people and you always want to do this and do that to somebody? Why you still want to be around people then? You never think about doing that to yourself? Huh? They're sitting here affect, trying to affect innocent people? Oh my gosh, she is too bold, too bold. I've been like this in school. We ain't nothing changed. I've been talked like this in school. But you say you know me. You don't know me, girl. Shut up. You don't know me because I don't tell you my business. <laughs> Carla said, I totally agree, Michelle. <laughs> Every day that girl be trying to work that bad boy on me. Then she got the nerve to God show me. She got God show me this. Now she got to, hmm, it worked with everybody else. I need to study her a little bit more. It's going to work one day. It's going to break. And so much words like that. This troll. Chucky doll. Okay. Oh, child. Let me tell you. <laughs> and you all, you know, I've tried to brighten my tongue, you know, because I don't like to pick curses on people. I hold my tongue and I pray to my father about it. I said, you know, I talk to my father about it. Just handle it for me. That's the best way anybody can do anything is when you go to your father and you pray about something, ask him to take care for you. But this tongue wanted to come out so bad. And I want to cut her like a two-edged sword for what she have done. But I didn't. Okay. Because one thing I know about that tongue you can kill somebody quick with that tongue. But she want to sit and bother people, lying on people. She bothering me. I don't know why she doing this or doing that. And I ain't even been thinking about that girl. You all know we were going live just about every day. I be on live minding my business and behind the scenes, I'm with my kids. So what time I have to bother her or make videos on her? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, y'all. That's all, that's all, that's all, y'all. I'm done. That's how she lied. Okay. Any man or woman she want, she going to work her magic, baby. Okay. She going to work her magic. Because I done told this girl on Facebook last week, I said, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Y'all want to tag team against some in-laws of mine to pit witchcraft on me. Hmm. I saw y'all last night. I saw y'all when I went to sleep. When I told y'all with 2024 been coming in, I'm going to expose people for what they do. I'm going to expose them, especially if I'm in my own territory, not bothering nobody. She big headed. She need to be dumbed down some. You don't know me. I've been like this. I'm not dumbing down for nobody. This is who I am. This is how I've always been. Crazy. I don't just be making up lies on people just to be making up lies. Why am I going to do that for? You got to pay for that. And sir, because I see a guy with you doing these little things you've been doing. He gonna have to pay a price too, okay? Y'all gotta be mindful when y'all come out here bothering people, do your homework and see what is what first before you sit and put your hands and your mouth on somebody and order a hit out on somebody. Got these men following me trying to put a hit out on me, okay? And this been going on for a while. A prostitute given command. Now y'all let that sink in for a minute. I don't never know when a lady is in leadership of anything. Okay. I never knew. I knew men's being leaderships, but not no woman, not no prostitute. 
Caught the way how God show me, baby. It is what it is. You a Jezebel. Ain't nobody. <laughs> yes, Lord, cover you and your family. Oh, yes, ma'am, Carla. Thank you so much. That's why I pray and ask God to do that all the time, Miss Carla. All the time. I do. And I ask God to cover your family too. Everybody out there in the chat of the bushes. You know, always praying that's God to keep your family covered under his blood. Because people out here is real. This stuff is real. People who do this all the time. And it be the ones who you think look innocent. The ones who you think that won't harm you is the one who is really under you trying to out you. For no reason at all. They don't have no valid reason. But you remember I told y'all. God always got a ram in the bush baby. God always got a ram in the bush. I promise you it always a ram in the bush. Okay. 2024 God is not playing with nobody. When that eclipse came. You know what that eclipse did. It sucked up all wickedness right. It sucked up just about all wickedness. And he released something on this earth that these fools like her can't see. Because she's too busy in her own little zone. And she's going to be the first one that's going to get eat up when they present themselves. Okay? Because they eat the flesh of human. They eat the flesh, but the flesh will never consume itself or never die. Right? She's going to be the first one. People like her going to be the first one. And it's in everybody home. This thing is in everybody house. It's everywhere in your car. Anywhere you can imagine is there. And it was placed there for reasons all on your ceiling, your walls. You just can't see it right now. So when you're dealing with somebody by, log by um, logical like her, who don't use common sense to leave certain people alone? Okay. God got people upon this land that is an assignment, right? Life is like an assignment. They're trying to get their duty done. But when you're dealing with people like her who are not using wisdom and knowledge and understanding to leave these people alone, these type people alone, they're here for protection, to protect her too when that time come. But she's so freaking ignorant. She worked every day with her witchcraft. I guess she thinking Satan got something to offer her, but he is tricking her. Betty Boots and no weapon form against you and your family shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. I agree, Betty Boot. I agree. Call us say amen with the prayer. Yeah. Stay prayed up. And if you don't pray, always just talk to your father throughout the day. You know, talk to your father. Whatever you need to talk to God about. Because like I said, when that eclipse came, God was eclipsing evil. He was cleaning it up. Because he is releasing something totally different for his people. And those who want to be evil, they're going to be going through. So remember, y'all, remember I told y'all it's only 144,000 going to be saved, right, in the Bible. That's, that's prophecy. That's not a lot of people. That's the whole world. Out of this whole world, only 144,000. So if you sit back and do the math and you look at how certain people moving and how they doing things. Because some people are bound. They can't get out with the end. They just bound. Right. But those who not bound, they still got a chance to break out of the shackles and release themselves where they can come to my father, where he can tell them what they need to do to, you know, save them or protect them. However, the case may go get them out of the bondage. That's wrapping them around. But her, she have sold her soul. She don't believe in God like that. Okay. Some people call people like this the devil. They call them different things. Church, that's not an option to her. Okay. Call us a beautiful love. Is there a way to get in touch with you that's safe? Um, 
I don't know if you got my cell phone number, my cell phone number, Miss Carla. That's the only way. Because when I go on my messenger on Facebook, the little heifer so nosy. She done got me to a place to where I can't even check my messages right now on Facebook. Because if I happen to click what's up on that screen to get to my messenger, that's another hack, right? They definitely going to get inside my phone and start messing with other stuff in my phone. So that's why I'm not able to touch that screen that's there. But God did show me the government is looking into all of this. And that's why I say I ain't got to report nothing. I ain't got to say nothing. God always let me know what's going on behind the scenes while nobody even coming to me. The government is looking into this stuff. Okay. I never thought it, it would exist that people can mess with your Facebook and YouTube like that. I never knew, you know, people can hack into your stuff and do what they want to do with your account. If they want money, they're taking that too. Without you even knowing. Okay. That's how she is. And you think you're gonna come to my place, girl? You bet not. You bet not come to my house. Don't even come nowhere around me. Don't you even look at me. My father gonna deal with you. He gonna deal with you in a mighty way. I'm going to tell you, you on phase two. You don't believe that. Go look it up. Or go in prayer. Let God show you what phase two mean. Then I believe you'll start getting yourself together. Either you're going to be uh, of use or you're not. Yeah, Carla. You know, I don't want to give the devil credit for nothing. But when I say God, God kept me. You hear me? God kept me. This girl had thrown so much death magic to me. It's ridiculous. And when I couldn't die. She was doing this now. Oh, y'all. Every single day. From the time I prayed and asked God to show me. That I know of. Because God was telling me it's way longer than that. But. A month ago is when I found out, okay? But she was doing it way longer than that, right? For a while, while. If it probably been somebody else, yes, they probably would have been affected real bad. You know, they probably would have died or however the case may go. Y'all saw that accident my daughter been in? That car was crumbled like a cane. And she was just sitting in the seat. She ain't had one scratch on her. It was like God had his angels wrapped around her like this in a coven like that. While everything crumbled around her. She ain't had one scratch. But this is what the enemy wanted. She wanted to get through my child to get to me. To lower myself where she could work on me. He was a dirty dog. Okay. And I'm going to tell y'all something too. When y'all got these people doing such things. Trying to affect your organs in your body and you got health issues and different things. It's coming from people who do this type of stuff. And that's why I keep telling people, call them out on what they're doing. Okay? Call them out. I send it back to you a thousandfold. Okay? I send it back to you a thousandfold, what you send to me. <sighs> Um, Betty Boop said, just know we have been thinking about you and praying for you. Betty Boop, I'm, I thank you so much. I really do. I'm really, really thankful. Carla said, it's enough um, fame and fortune um, out here for everybody. Exactly. It's enough for everybody. But she don't think like that. She don't think like that. You can give her a plate in front of her with a, with a fork and a spoon. Everybody can have the same thing, but she's still going to be pissed off. 
Her spirit is not being satisfied because she need to go to my father. Carla said, Betty, yes, Betty Boop. I miss our sister. I miss y'all too, Miss Carla. I miss you too, Betty Boop. I miss all of y'all. You know? I just had to get my mind together. You know, I was talking to God a lot. Like a lot. This devil right here. Then she teamed up with other devils too. Now, they not, they not just her. Okay? But I'm pinpointing her out, the whole collective. Because she was the one who started that fire, who lied. The ring, the, the hunch or the ringleader, she was the one that started it. Okay? She just picked me out. Then she started lying. She bothering me. But what goes around comes around. That's just how life is. So I hope she embracing herself because when that time come, that karma come back around, I hope you embracing yourself, baby. Because they said, with your pit out, they always come back. It always going to be another fool out here going to do the same thing she thinks she did to me. And I hope you could take every bit, okay, that you try to do to others. Just brace yourself. You on that train, baby, brace yourself. <laughs> And I'm not laughing because I'm happy. I'm laughing with the bracing yourself. Because I can imagine when you when you at the fair, you on a ride, and you sit and do like that because you're scared as hell trying to brace yourself. Yeah. And just to let her know, I don't want nothing you got. Okay, I don't want nothing you got. Trust and believe me on everything. Okay. Because you got a spirit on you that I don't even want around me. That's how serious I take that. Hello, welcome in the chat. And I hope no women's break free from you. Okay. So ladies, if y'all know her, break free and run. Okay. Run. She is nobody friend, trust me. Because if I could give her the clothes off my back and treat her good, that means she don't mean nothing to nobody who's treating her good. She got a heart of self. That means whatever she come in her mind at that time, that's what she's going to do. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. I don't know which way to put it. That's dangerous. It's sad. It's sad. She lucky. I promise you, because I know, who, baby, there are wicked people out here. They would love to tap dance over you, honey, but I, I don't do that stuff. Because if my girlfriend would have found out, ooh, girl, it's over for you. <laughs> I promise you. Because you got some people, baby, they ain't in this country. They don't, they don't play, baby. They don't, they don't play with Miss Bunny. Okay. But I don't never wish that on nobody. I would never do that to nobody. Just the point of the matter is you're going to mess with people who in their own little space, who minding their business. Minding my own little business. What y'all got going on or what you got going on didn't have anything to do with me. Until you start stepping on my territory for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. For no reason at all. A liar and a manipulator. You need to be honest with people. I don't care what it look like. Be honest with people. Get a better result in life when you're honest. Stop being greedy. For money, money, money. Okay? And leave people alone. So if it come up, if it come down to me or anything pertaining to my kids, that's none of your business. Okay. I've been living this life way before you came along. That's none of your business. Okay. When you're trying to control people life, that's none of your business. Okay. That's none of your business. Well, I'm not going to hold you. I've been on here for a whole hour, y'all, in some minutes. Hmm. 
No, I'm not repeating the same thing. This is something I never talked about before. You know, when I came on this morning, I was talking about something totally different. It didn't have anything to do with what I'm saying right now. This is something totally different. You know, I was telling the people earlier, blackmailing, I, I'm, I'm totally against that. You know, and to be, and to be honest about it, I'm going to be truthful to you about it. If she haven't done me the way she did me and somebody was to blackmail her, I would have felt the same way. Right? It's not me just picking and choosing people. It's wrong. It's wrong, especially if a person know they got something going on in their life too. Everybody have done something probably in their past where they're not proud of, but that doesn't mean they're bad people, okay? We have a lot of people upon this earth who gays, um, um, lesbians or anything of that nature or people who... um. I ain't going to say that part, but people just do the unnormal things at time, right? Some unnormal things out there outside of that too, right? That doesn't give nobody the reason to make judgment on anybody. I don't care what it is. We all have done something. A mistake is a mistake. A sin is a sin. We can't pick and choose because a person um, said something or did something. They're a bad person. No, that's not true. You know? That's not true. And I've never been in that predicament, but that's not true. That doesn't make a person bad. You know? She a whole prostitute, so we'll make her better than anybody else. That's what I'm talking about. You know, when she want to put herself in a category like she better than others or want to brag about what she done to people or things like that. You know, and she got a lot of things going on in her life. That's why I got a problem with. That's not right. Because to be honest about it, she will sit and do the same thing to y'all too. So don't, don't think you exempt. Okay, I'm talking about somebody who is heartless, who don't care. When I say heartless, she very heartless. She don't care. I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for other people too, who she laughed at and she bragged at threatening different things like that. That's what I'm talking about. It's wrong. She walk around like she perfect. We all have done mistakes in the past or some people doing it now, but that doesn't make them bad people. They just need to get it together. She know better, but she don't care. Just. It just, she is too much. She is too much. And she does a lot. I talk with somebody who work their magic every day, try to work it on me every single day and not letting up. And still, does she thank God that she got breath in her body? Like, Lord, I thank you for allowing me to be here. You know, you gave me, you know, whatever, whatever. She don't care about that. She don't care, but nobody who is around her right now who helped her, she don't care. Ungrateful. Betty Booster, that's right. Um, he that without sin cast the first stone. Exactly. Yes, that is so true. Yes. I did saw that. Yes, she do. She do for real, for real. That's what she do for real. And it's sad. You know, I don't knock people for what they, what they choose to do. And that's why I tell people all the time, you got to be very careful who you interact with. You know, um, I can see when somebody um, fighting evil against evil and I'm, I'm against evil. Right. But when you got two people fighting evil against evil, they're just they doing their thing. That's their belief. Right. But when you got somebody who fighting against good and the evil, I got a problem with that. Because I'm not looking to hurt you, but you're looking to hurt me. That's where the problem lies. And hurt others who helping her and others who have helped her. Even women, she, be, she talks about every woman that been around her. She gossip about them.
somebody want to be your friend or communicate with you about what's going on in your life and you you come to me and talk to me about it, but then yet I'm backstabbing you when you leave from around me. <sighs> oh, that's how she is. I'm Betty Boo. Yeah. That's what she that's what she did. And I saw all of that. She don't care for nobody she around. I don't care how much you fellowship with her. She don't care for nobody except herself. She is selfish. She lies about money. She have money put up. And she sit and use people to his nothing left. If she can do that, that's what she going to do. So I'm not going to stay on. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.